Hi, good morning all. Today we are going to learn regarding switch. Switch is, as you know, switch is the most important part in a networking element. So let's start with defining a switch. So switch is basically uh, any computer in computer network that is used to transfer packets from a source to destination. It can be either a connection between two LANs or any two ports. It just depends on how you use it. Switch can be switch can have multiple ports as well as the simplest of switch can have two ports as well input port and the output port let's start exploring switch by looking into the basic semantic structure of a switch if you look in the first figure i have drawn the simple structure of a switch which shows that the first the upper part is a routing part and the bottom part is a switching part you can switch this over as well the dotted line here it doesn't indicate that routing occurs at a higher layer than switching layer it's just to bifurcate and show you the difference that it can be switched as well as it can be used in an alternate way as well the routing part is basically used for control and switching part is basically used for transferring of packets from input to output okay so now let's look into the internal structure of a switch. If you look here, the internal structure of a switch basically consists of a fabric, which is the heart of the switch. This, this all are port processors. This, 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 this all are line interfaces. Okay, as you can see, port processors are located on both sides of fabrics. Line interfaces are also located here. So here you can say there are two line interfaces per each port processor. You can have more than two as well. As just for the convenience, I have shown two line interfaces. Let's look into the function of each part of this and then we look into the entire switch together. If you look at the line interfaces, it's basically a physical device. As you can see, it is connected through any line interface card and it is basically used for optoelectric conversion, serial to parallel transfer, line encoding and simple stuff which are done in the physical layer, right? The port processor is basically used for processing of the packet. When the main CU, as you can see, the, there are input processor as well as port output. So this is input and this is output but you can also switch like you can say this is the input and this is the output it's always a convention and it's a way to write that you take from left to right so that's why i'm considering here as this is the input and this is the output the input processor and the output processor perform some individual functions like the input processor main function of input processor is to validate the packet which is received from the interface it, it also can be used to calculate the TTL, the number of hops, and it also used for forwarding the packet to the required port according to the address in the routing table. So what is the importance of a fabric? Let's say if you have an input coming from a LAN interface 1 of port 1 and you want to transfer it to LAN interface 1 of port 4. So it is done by this method through a fabric. So this is the way the fabric works. But if you want to transfer a, from the same input, let's say you want to transfer from the same input and receive it from the same output, you can directly do with the port processor as well. So the input and output pro port processor have the similar function of queuing the packet as well as local switching. Local switching means it does not involve fabrics in between. It is just transferring from here to here. So this is basically the functioning of the port processors and interfaces and fabrics. One part to look forward is the control part. Control part is basically just used for controlling how this switch works. This is just an indication of how the switch works. So here we are, the aim of the today's lecture was to introduce you to how the packet is transferred. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you next time in the future and look and explain you in more in detail. Thank you so much. Bye.